when you try your best but you don't succeed when you get what you want but not what you need when you feel so tired but you can't sleep stuck in rivers and the tears come streaming down your face when you lose something you can't replace when you love someone but it goes to waste could it Oh my God, what a hit. That's Fix You by Coldplay. That song was released in September of 2005, reached number four on the UK singles chart, and number 18 in the United States. Um, the song was written by 
all the members of Coldplay, all four members, and um, was started by Chris Martin. It was for his then wife, Gwyneth Paltrow. They met in uh, late October 2002, a couple weeks after Gwyneth Paltrow's dad had passed away. And so they would listen to Coldplay music. And I guess, what was the, there's a song I'm going to have to check out. I don't really know it. Um, Everything's not lost. I might know it, but I just, I don't, I'm not positive, but uh, they would listen to that. I guess it's an uplifting song to help process the loss of her father. Either way, he wrote that for her to continue to uh, try and help her grieve and uh, I guess get over the loss of her father. An incredible song. Um, I think probably my favorite Coldplay song. It's right up there. But uh, it's a great one. And I hope you liked it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Tom LaBelle Show. I appreciate you uh, checking me out, and uh, hopefully you dig some of the stuff I say. Uh, This song playing right now is I Don't Want to Be the One by Local Smokes. My buddy, uh, they've allowed me to use that song as my uh, beginning song and my end song. So I really appreciate that. Like that song, Local Smokes, check them out. Um, If you're listening on a podcast, just remember I cover a song every episode, but I only can post it on YouTube because I guess the podcast platforms don't want me posting other people's music. But uh, so this week I covered Coldplay's Fix You. If you want to give it a listen, throw it on, uh, throw it on your phone and drive around and listen to it. If you're listening to a, uh, podcast in the car or uh watch the youtube and you can hear the whole thing with no edits so uh we got a big show a big show this week i'm super excited for it because i have had a lot going on in fact i think it might take me a couple episodes to cover everything so i got some material great first things first um so the reason i chose to break down the Coldplay song Fix You is because I recently went to their concert. Oh my gosh. So um, it was on a Wednesday. It was on a Wednesday night and like I've like leading up to it, like I was super excited. I haven't been to a a concert really like in a long time since, you know, since the uh, two weeks to flatten the curve. I haven't been to a concert. So I was like, I want to go to a concert and just like feel a fucking concert and just like vibe out and just be there be there in the concert be present be be like loving the music and let it just like you know just kind of like release all that fucking couple years of fucking bullshit just be like yes finally so we bought these tickets me my wife my uh sister-in-law my brother-in-law we bought these tickets a while ago and uh the concert was coming up So the day of the concert, so Wednesday, like I said, I was working and then we're going to the concert afterwards. So I'm at the bar and I'm talking to my one buddy about golfing and I've been getting back into golfing a lot lately. So you're going to be hearing a little bit more about me golfing and my struggles and maybe some things I learned while golfing. Either way, I'm in there and I'm talking to him about golfing and possibly going out to play and i'm like oh man we should go out and play we get out there have some fun you know i was like maybe uh have a couple beers maybe smoke a little weed or whatever and he's like yeah man that sounds awesome blah 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 and somehow the topic of mushrooms came up and so we're talking about mushrooms and i was like yeah my one buddy's like saying he does this thing he like microdoses or whatever and seems to like help him and he likes it and makes him a little more i don't know like less socially awkward or which is weird to me but uh you know it seems to like i've I've heard a couple people saying that now that they microdose so 
we're talking about that, whatever. I don't even think anything of it. Next thing you know, I'm waiting on another customer. He goes, hey, you know, I uh, I heard you guys talking about uh, mushrooms and microdosing. Funny thing, Tom, is that I'm going down to my buddy's house and uh, I'm going to get some of these candy bars. They're like mushroom candy bars. And do uh, you think you'd want some? I was like, fuck yeah, I'd want some. Get me some. Hell yeah. Now, my history with mushrooms is a, let's say it's had their ups and their downs, okay? So I've had times where I've had great times on mushrooms. I've had times where I've been like, oh, why did I do that? It was freaking, my world was collapsing, okay? But uh, it had been about 20 years, and I was going to a concert, and I'm only microdosing. You know what I mean? So either way, the guy goes, my, my buddy Cody. Cody goes and uh, he goes to his friend's house and he picks up the candy bar, the mushrooms candy bar, and he brings it back. And so it's kind of in a cool package. I should have brought it down, whatever. It's kind of, a, you know, I think it's called shroomies. Okay. And on the package, it says, okay, this is like the dosage you want to take. So it's like, if you'd imagine like a Hershey bar, how it has like the different, you know, little pieces of it that you can snap off. So it says, for microdosing, you want to take one to three, and you know, that's a microdose. So he's like, Yeah, I've eaten them before. And so usually I'll pop three, and uh, you know, he's like, I'll go up, like, me and my kids will be four wheeling or whatever, and or we'll be like, you know, hanging out. And I'm just, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like chill. Like my body's a little tingly, but like I'm all good. You know what I mean? I'm like, All right, it doesn't sound too mild. Now, it's not my first, it's not my first rodeo. So when someone tells you that does drugs, that they do mushrooms or any anything like that, where there's a minimal, there's there's a fine line between just enough and way too much. Okay. So he said he would take, he said to me, I would take three. Now, if you've been listening to the show, you know I have a strange diet. I only eat meat, organs, uh, fruit raw milk and raw honey that's all i eat okay i mean i'll have a beer here occasionally now because i'm not a freaking you know i can't completely do something but i don't really eat any carbs and besides the fruit so my stomach is it's not filled with stuff to soak stuff up right like i couldn't drink a lot because one i don't drink very often two if i did there's nothing to soak it up same thing goes for these mushrooms so he's saying, and I haven't done them in forever. I don't like smoke weed very often. I don't drink very often. You know what I mean? Like, so shit's going to hit me a little bit harder than it is a seasoned veteran. I am a seasoned veteran, but I'm not, you know, I'm not playing every day. You know what I mean? So I'm there with the money. He says he would take three. I'm like, well, in my head, I'm like, I'm not taking three. So I'm like, uh, how many should I take? He says one to three. Well, I don't want to take one. I'm not going to take three. So I decide. I'll take two. I'll take two. So I have the candy bars on me, whatever. Me, my wife comes, my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, they all come, pick me up. Oh, I'm driving. So they all hop in my car and I'm driving down to the concert. So we stop, get something to eat. I have, I don't think I even, do I have a beer? I have a beer and we roll down to the concert. We go into the concert. My wife and uh, her sister are like, okay, we got to go to the bathroom. I'm like, all right, well, now seems to be my moment. I go to the bathroom and I see, I'm like, all right, let me pop one of these, right? But I'm, I'm trying to do it discreetly. I don't want anyone to know, okay, Tom's taking mushrooms, right? <laughs> I don't want anyone to know. So I'm going to do these motherfuckers by myself. So I go in the bathroom. I open up the package pop and i try to snap off two well two and like two and like uh not a quarter maybe a tenth you know like just a little bit more than two all right just a little bit more than two pop off put them in eat them very good delicious just tastes like a chocolate bar nothing didn't taste like anything funny nothing and if you've ever eaten mushrooms you know they taste like shit because they grow on shit so i'm like all right i just pop them in get some water you know, now we're hanging out. We go meet up with a couple of friends. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, I can't wait for this concert. It's going to be great starting soon. All right, we'll check you later. Blah, blah, blah. We go to the seats. 
So now we're in the seats and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I start to like cheese, right? I'm like smiling. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's starting to kick in, right? It's starting to kick in. And I'm smiling and my body's starting to like pulse a little bit. I'm starting to feel like, you know, whatever, you know, like, oh, all right, okay. And like, you know, part of it's like when you're on these things, you're always like, is it working? Is it starting? Like, am I feeling it? You know what I mean? And then I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm feeling something. I'm feeling something. It was hot as shit. It was super hot, super hot. And we're in like the bowl, like the bottom. And they have like tarps up to like, but there was no wind. And we're just sitting there. And it's just like, man, this is hot. So the concert's about to start. And I'm sitting there. And to tell you the concert, the concert was incredible. All right. <laughs> so the first thing they do is they come on with this huge video. <sighs> Excuse me. So Coldplay, I like Coldplay. I like Coldplay a lot. I, I really like like four or five of their songs. Like I really like them. But uh, the other ones I'm like, okay, yeah, you know what I mean? And then there's something I'm like, I, I, I don't really care for any of this. So they come on and they have this message like, Thank you so much for buying a ticket to our show. We want to let you know that you buying the ticket is cleaning the earth and, and cleaning the ocean and blah, 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 blah. And make sure to recycle your bracelet. They give you this bracelet with like, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, seriously, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I just walked in from out in the bargain lot. And if you think your concert is, is creating less garbage, there was so much garbage out there. I mean, there's animals everywhere. This is fucking South Philadelphia. Uh, I don't care if they're Coldplay fans or not. They're li they're littering. There's people just drunk, wasted. There, it stinks like weed everywhere. I'm on mushrooms, right? Like, and they're telling me we're saving the world. I'm like, I'm not buying it, Coldplay. So just get off your whole fucking agenda. I'm here to hear the music, and then 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 the whole thing like, you know. We're pro this and we're pro that and we're for this and we're for that and we're blah, 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 blah. And if you want to stand up and I'm like, is what is this, a rally? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just here to fucking hear some music. You play yellow. You know what I mean? So either way, I get through all that bullshit. And then now I'm sitting there and I'm starting to like things are creeping into my mind. I'm like, you know what? Chris Martin, lead singer of Coldplay. I see right through you. I see right through you you're a fraud <laughs> so either way the show starts and it is incredible the the they give you these bracelets right that light up to the music and if you haven't seen it go check out a video it's pretty cool how's it there's fireworks going off everywhere there's shit going everywhere there's aliens and like like literally like they're like this thing is supposed to be from a different universe and like all this other stuff and i'm just sitting there like <laughs> i'm like what the fuck is going on <laughs> you know i'm like this shit is starting to fucking hit me pretty good and i'm like oh man like holy fuck like this shit is stronger than i thought and i'm like all right all right you're okay you're okay like just chill and like shit's like getting like wavy you know what i mean i'm like oh man this is this is out of control and i'm like cracking up i'm like sitting there thinking to myself like oh my god i'm on this and nobody has like my wife no no one has a clue well i think certain things i noticed though too that were about people cannot just watch it they have to film everything like they're literally filming everything like the person next to me filmed the whole show it was so annoying. Like, put your fucking phone away. All right, yeah. Do you want to get a couple cool videos? Yes. Okay, I get that. I understand. Look where I'm at. Oh, my God. Right? Like it. Like it. So, but the whole, nobody gives a shit about the whole fucking concert. Nobody. I'm telling you, if you're, if it's on a story, they're just, dit, 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 dit. okay, cool. Dit, 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 dit. You know, unless there's some freak, they're, they're, they're flying through it. They're next, next, next. So, I'm sitting there, I'm watching all these people. I'm like, this is just ridiculous. You know what I mean? And so then now I'm like really starting to feel it. And I'm like, oh, fuck my body. Like, I don't know what I'm like, shit. Like, I got to get out of this seat. It's so hot. Like, I got to go 
like you need to be free like in rome i was like i gotta go for a walk or something i need some water like i'm sweating like man this is this is getting a little intense for me so i'm like oh i gotta go to the bathroom real quick i'll be back like all right you know and so i go to the bathroom and first i walk into the bathroom and i'm like damn i'm at a Coldplay concert i'm used to eagles games animals people in there like fuck yeah like screaming at this like going nuts blah, blah, blah. i walk in and i'm like oh man i've never seen a the link bathroom like there's a bunch of gentlemen in this bathroom <laughs> oh good day to you sir <laughs> enjoying the concert i am too they sure are swell <laughs> it's a legit a bunch of gentlemen in this bathroom so one thing that was weird this guy was there was his kids right and their kids were young and like I'm telling you, the whole place stunk like weed. You know, I, I thought it was a weird venue to be bringing a kid. I don't know. So he's there with his two kids, and now they got to go to the bathroom, and they're waiting in line. And so there's, like, the small urinal. And so that opens up, and so he takes his two kids over there, and then there's a urinal next to it. First of all, guy code is if you're at any bathroom and there's multiple ur- urinals and there's an option to have a space in between, you take the space, okay? Like you don't stand right next to someone when you could have clearly gone a stall over. Like that's just, that's code, right? It's unwritten law, you know? So these kids are now there and he's, they're peeing in the small trough, these like young kids and a, the stall or like the urinal next to him opens up. And so the dad's like, oh yeah, go ahead. Come on, guy. like and right there, go ahead, go pee right next to my kid right there. You can stand right next to my young child and pee right there. It's wide. And it was like, nah, (laughs) nobody was taking it. And there's a line where like, I'm good. And I was on mushrooms. I just thought it was hilarious. And like, everyone was like, nah, you know? So it would have been like, if a guy actually did it, I would have been like fucking weirdo. So I go piss. And at that point, I'm trying to piss in the urinal. And I look down and I see that I'm peeing. Right. And I see that it peeing into the urinal, but I swear to God, I feel like I'm pissing my pants. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I'm pissing my pants, but like I can see that I'm peeing into the urinal. Like I see that, you know, there it is. There's stream. Yeah. All right. I see it, but it feels like when I'm getting warm. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I'm pissing my pants, but I wasn't. Thank God. So then I'm like, all right, wash your hands, go wash your hands look in the mirror and I'm like, Oh, you look a little weird. Right. And then I splash some water on my face. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. So now I'm like walking, fumbling around. It's hard to read stuff because everything's a little blurry. And so I'm like, let me get some fucking water. I got to chuck some water. So I go get like the two biggest waters I can get. I'm trying to like scan my card in there. I'm like, is it done? Like what's happened? What's it say to do? I can't read, you know, whatever. So I get back to the seats. My wife's like, hey, okay. I was like, hey, I got you a water. She's like, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. And so <laughs> the concert's going on, and the show is nuts. Like I said, all the lights, all the fireworks. At one point, he's singing to, like, an alien puppet. I'm not joking. And my wife, you know, uh, like, I'm, like, even thinking, I'm on mushrooms. And I'm like, this is a little much, right? Am I crazy? This is a little bit, this is a little bit much. You know, you're singing to a puppet alien about some bullshit who knows saving the world probably so my wife turns to me she goes man this concert would be cr- could you man like this would be crazy if you were on ass <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude man i wonder what that would be like <laughs> oh man, yeah that'd be crazy honey <laughs> little did she know so standing there and watching the concert now it's hot and we're going through all the hits and there's a one song viva la vida you know and it's like i used to rule the world you know whatever and so it gets to the one part and it goes so I guess they do this. I've seen it on online before, but the one guy in the band has like a drum in front of him and he like bangs a drum and he's like, Whoa! and he's like singing the song and everybody like then starts singing that part with him. And I could just tell looking into this, I could see into this guy's soul. He did not want to be there. He's tired of doing the, Whoa! 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 And he's like, <laughs> I 
I swear to God, the dude was, he's sick of it. I can tell, I could see it. And you think about it, when you have a job, no matter what the job is, no matter how cool you think the fucking job is, at some point you're sick of it. It was a hot Wednesday night in fucking Philadelphia. These guys are from England. He's probably like, oh my God, do we really have to fucking play today? And he's probably like backstage and like, all right, remember, you got to do the, uh, and he's like, I'm sick of doing the, uh, I write, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired of it. It's fucking bloody hot out here. I don't want to do it. <laughs> And I could see that that guy did not want to do it. I could tell, and you can't tell me any different. <laughs> so then they played uh, The Scientist, which is another. So, Come up to meet you. Tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you are. Right. And so everyone's singing. Every, I know every word. I'm like, oh, my God. Yes. Depression. I loved it. So, fucking, he's singing that song now. Nobody said it was easy. And I'm seeing that oh, guy singing that part. And he's just like, no. Oh. And I was like, this guy just hates his fucking life. He, he wanted to be this rock star. He wanted to be in this world famous band. He got what he wanted and he hates it. I can tell. I saw it. And he's like, and it's so fitting that he was nobody said it was easy yeah you know what you got what you wanted bro <laughs> is it really what you wanted though hmm. you got what you wanted bro is it really what you wanted though wow wow i'm fucking i'm on fire so either way after that they get into some shit where they're like look we want to spread the love all right if you want peace you have to be peace. And if you want love, you have to be love. And I'm like, Chris Martin, with your fucking bullshit again, stop it. Just play the fucking songs. If you want peace, be peace. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, swear to God, a minute later, a fight breaks out in front of us. It's like three rows in front of us, and they're just fucking clocking, clocking, boom, 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 boom. Security comes out, all this shit, and I'm like, be peace. And I'm on mushrooms. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> be love. Be peace, you know? Wow. So either way, we're coming to the end of the concert. Now I'm like, fuck, dude, what am I going to do? Like, I feel like I could drive, but it would be irresponsible of me. It wouldn't be fair to my wife, who's pregnant, my sister-in-law, and my brother-in-law, if I did drive it home, even if I made it home, and I was like, hey, by the way, we made it home, I'm on mushrooms. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a betrayal. So I decided, while on mushrooms, on a Wednesday, at a Coldplay concert, I was going to be responsible. So I'll tell you how I do that later. The song is it's now starting to rain right starting to rain and getting to the end of the show they oh, they're off this they're they're done they walk off thank you very much blah, blah. oh okay yeah you didn't play fix you oh, okay yeah 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 you're you're done there's not going to be an encore here so then they come back out and they play some other bullshit song and then all of a sudden fix you starts and it starts raining and we're in the rain and it's raining down if you you know, when you try your best and you don't succeed. Oh, and then that guitar. Oh, it kicks in and you're, it's raining on me and fix you and the lights and the fireworks. Tears and stream down your face. And, I, and I'm on, and I'm like, this is, this isn't, I'm fixed. They fixed me. <laughs> you know what I mean, it was like, yes. Be peace, be love. <laughs> and so I got the moment. I got it. You know, I like totally loved it. Braced everything. What's happening? This is amazing. Out of body. Love it. Right. Great moment. Great concert. Now we're getting ready to roll. And so we're like, all right, let's get out of here and try to beat some of this fucking traffic. So, you know, 
I said to my brother, man, I said, yo, are you good to drive? And he's like, yeah, man. He's like, he's like, I was like, you feel like driving home? He's like, I will. Yeah, sure. And I'm like, he's like, why? You're right. I was like, well, you know, I did mushrooms before we came in here. And he's like, what? <laughs> he did mushrooms before he came in. And so now we're like cracking up. And I'm like, dude, I'm losing my mind. I don't know what's going on here. I can't believe that Cody would sell me something that was more potent than he originally let on. Okay. So, <laughs> so we're cracking up and I'm like, Oh man, how am I going to tell my pregnant wife? So, uh, either way we're walking back, we get in the car and they're like, wait, why is Matt driving? I was like, well, it's funny. You should say that ladies. I decided to eat mushrooms before he came in. here. I'm like, what? You did what? You ain't pulling that. <laughs> Tom, you're out of control. You're out of control. Like, what is going on? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it was a great show. I was like, you didn't even know. You didn't even know I was. She goes, you know, and now that you mention it, you were being a little weird. You were being a little bit weird. <laughs> you think? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, uh, my brother-in-law drove home. I hung out. I, w- I was up a little bit later than my wife that night. It's hard to fall asleep on these fucking things. But I did fall asleep at a relatively, compared to when I did <sighs> mushrooms the last time. I mean, you're up all night. I was up for fucking a whole day and two days. You know what I mean? But this, I like was able to calm down. I came home, had some more water, had some milk, had some fruit, tried to relax, laid down. And eventually, I did fall asleep. You know, maybe like one o'clock, one thirty, maybe two o'clock, maybe two thirty. But uh, I did eventually fall asleep, and uh, I had a great time. Um, microdosing, microdosing. Hmm. Now that I've done it, I might try it again, but I'll only eat one bar. You know what I mean? I'm only gonna eat one. And but I need somewhere to roam around too. It's tough when you gotta sit in one place. You know what I mean? But this term microdosing, folks, if I could give you any advice, it's don't fall for the term microdosing, okay? So microdosing is kind of like, it's kind of like just the tip for drug dealers, okay? (laughs) Just trying to get it in and then, (laughs) you know what I mean? So I would say microdosing, you should still be very careful, you know? Take less, you can always have more later on. But the first time you do it, I would take less and go the whole thing. All right. Take whatever it is it says, you know, do the a smaller amount and go go the whole the whole day. That's it. That's what you're taking. And then the next day, okay, I can take a little bit more. Or the next time, all right, I can take a little bit more. All right. Because what you don't want to do is take a little and be like, oh, this isn't working. Let me take a little bit more. That's a classic mistake. And you can end up with your ceiling melting on you or whatever. All right. So that was my experience at the Coldplay concert on mushrooms. Um, great show. I had a great time. I uh, would definitely go see them again. Um, this time I probably would just get drunk. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode of the Tom Bell Show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a comment. If you have anything you want me to talk about, put it in my comments. Or uh, say something, I guess. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I enjoy doing these episodes, and I hope you like it too. I appreciate you listening. I'm Tom Lavelle. I love you, I love you, I love you. Peace!